This is Glenn McGrady. It's uh, Friday, January 14. I'm here at uh, Springfield College, and I'm with uh, Kevin Kiernan, who's the coach of Matter Day High School. And in that capacity, he is the coach of Kalina Mosqueda Lewis, who we're featuring in this article. Uh, Kevin, thank you for agreeing to do the interview. Sure. Uh, when did you first see Kalina as a player? Uh, she came in as a freshman. It was my first year at Modern Day, um, and she came in as an incoming freshman. And uh, right away, you could, uh, you know, you'd have to be blind not to see that she was a very talented player. Uh, even at that young age, she was about five eleven, six feet tall, uh, very strong, uh, and a great shooter. And actually, her freshman year, she ended up being our leading scorer as a freshman on varsity. That's pretty rare. Did she uh, play in the eighth grade? Is that allowed in your school? No, we get them as incoming ninth graders. So she was at a school called Holy Family uh, Middle School in Orange County. Do you recall offhand what kind of statistics she had uh, last year or what she is currently this year? Both? Uh, yeah, last year she averaged 23.5 points a game. Uh, she was our leading scorer, eight rebounds, four assists. Um, you know, she's a great shooter. She's averaging about 22 points a game this year uh, on a very talented team. Um, you know, one little thing not known about her, she's known as a great shooter. She's a great post-up player, too. Uh, we post her up quite a bit, and she gets a lot of stuff inside, too. And uh, she plays the top of our press, so we uh, really we, we tie her out pretty good. I didn't see her uh, in the post much today. Does she actually play bas back to the basket with post moves back? To the oh, basket? yeah. Yeah, we try to post her up at least five, six times a, day, a game uh, with her back to the basket. Today we couldn't because she got in foul trouble. And uh, so we had to, you know, do a look, go a little with some other people in the post. We didn't want her to pick up an offensive foul down there. But, uh, you know, she was a little hamstrung by fouls today. But just having her on the floor is such a great advantage for us because you have to pay so much attention to her that you could tell it opens it up for everybody else. You know, people were getting free shots that first quarter when we got off to such a good start. And that really helps us. That's because she's on the floor. Uh, the viewers don't know this yet, but uh, the coach's team clobbered Murray Bird crown by 40 points uh, today. Um, what uh, position would you say she plays? You've just explained she plays in a variety of places, mm -hmm. but what, what position would you say she plays in high school for you? Well, we start in the two spot. Uh, she's a shooting guard, um, and but again, like we move her all over the place. We try to take as best advantage of her skills as we can because we try to get her as many shots as we can. But I see her at UConn as a two shooting guard. Uh, Kalina is, of course, uh, signed with UConn. So uh, you see her playing a shooting guard for UConn. Uh, how about her passing? UConn, of course, is very famous for the passing game. Uh, what can you say about her in that regard? Yeah, well, when we let her pass, she does a really good job. We try, we try to tell her not to pass the ball too much because we want her to shoot, but uh, she's very unselfish, and uh, she makes the extra pass. And today was a perfect example. You know, she had foul trouble. They were <laughs> keying in on her. Um, she didn't force anything today. She got the other people involved, and obviously the other people did a great job and uh, then things loosened up for Kalina a little bit. Mm -hmm. But she'll, she's willing and able to make that extra pass. Does your, co does your team lift weights? Is that part of your program? Yeah, we have a very big strength training program, uh, three times a week in the off season and twice a week during the season. Uh, we have a great trainer at our school who trains all of our athletic teams at Modern Day, um, and he does a fantastic job. He's, he's helped us get a lot stronger. Tell us about some of the successes your team has had since Colleen has been a freshman in terms of national uh, rankings, mm -hmm. tournament wins, and bring us up to date where you are today. Well, the biggest thing we've done mm -hmm. in her four years here is last year we won the uh, state championship in California and the national championship. We were national champions last year, and that's a tremendous honor because that's something that you know many teams never even get a chance to play for. Um, this year we're right back there. We're ranked number three in the country. We're 16-1. and one. Um, The teams that are ahead of us, we play them in our playoff division in California, so we have a chance to uh, do what we did last year. And no one's gone back-to-back -back national championships as far as I know, and that's a goal we have, and uh, you know, hopefully we'll have a chance to do that. Well, good luck to you, and thank you again for your time, Coach. You're welcome, sir. Thank you.